What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Vermont Scale Customs, and thank you so much for being here. I will have you all know this is video number 300 for the channel. Uh, big milestone. It's been a long road to get here. Um, I actually think I was planning on more hitting 300 a couple of videos ago, but I, uh, I got the email about the RC four-wheel drive uh, commercial video submission. So I thought I would share with you what I've been submitting to RC four-wheel drive. Um, so those kind of ate up a couple of video slots because I sort of had planned to kind of reach the end of Hilux week at about 299. And then I was gonna do a big video, a gigantic 300th video, huge thank you. Um, and everything and that's coming but let's just pretend when that video comes out which is going to be about 302 or 303 I think when it's all said and done when that video finally hits the streets uh, let's just pretend that that's 300 and uh, but I got a lot of work to still do on that one I got a ton of screenshots to take of, of a lot of different stuff um, and it's going to just be a, a, a huge hack together nightmare that I got <laughs> I got to work on so give me a give me a minute on that one but I will have that uh, milestone video coming up. This particular one is obviously episode four of Hilux Week. This is a largely unedited video, except where I kind of detune the sound a little bit just because it does get a little unruly in a couple spots. But I wanted to just upload essentially a largely unedited video of this crawling through this little rocky field. Um, because a lot of you guys have mentioned in the course of the last week of watching the few videos that I've uploaded of this, that this truck really looks like a 110 in action and not a 124. Um, I'll have you know, <laughs> comments like that are what have me sitting back in the desk chair with my feet up on the desk saying to myself, mission accomplished. Um, when I first built this truck, Let's hit pause for a second and, and talk about the first generation of what this thing actually was. If you go all the way back into my probably January of the video history, you'll see uh, an earlier Hilux model body that was built onto essentially what was largely a spare parts truck. In fact, it was entirely a spare parts truck. Um, I've swapped over chassis on some SCX 24s now, so I have uh, a couple sets of frame rails and, and motor plates and stuff like that. So with all that spare parts sitting around, I was like, well, let's just see what I can come up with. And so um, the first incarnation of this very truck kind of existed really totally as a spare parts thing. And of course, on looking on eBay and stuff, I finally found uh, this Lindbergh 1992 Hilux model body. And since my dad owned an 89 that looked exactly like this thing, I was like, well, I got to build it. So this became a focus model for me. Um, at which point I started switching everything over. It got completely, it's all metal through and through. Uh, Benedict Harry Motor, Emax. Uh, I went with Axial Electronics, uh, the original the AEX or AE6, uh, because honestly, I, for the money, you can't find a better ESC radio combo to throw in these little micros. They've been working great ever since the SDX24 platform has had, you know, hit the streets. I've never had one burn up. I've never had one falter. And they really do have just incredible, nice low speed control. Again, for the money, it can't go wrong. So um, the suspension on this thing, and I think that's the reason why a lot of guys think that this looks like a 110 when it's running. To recap, a few videos ago, probably 10 or 15 or so ago, I did a kind of a series of like this and the Land Rover and the Panda all at a, uh, a really nice serene setting in the woods, waterfalls. Um, I spent a whole week basically just, you know, running all three of these trucks through there and there's a whole video series kind of revolves around that. In those videos, I talk about essentially what is the suspension modification that I had done about a week or so before I took those trucks out. And that video series was more or less a test, uh, kind of a proof of concept. In order to get this to look like what it does and run like what it does, it took me buying the Injora telescoping shocks. Now I put those on my SEX24 rock rig. Those shocks come with three different sets of coil springs. The gold set that comes with those are virtually unusable for any other kind of situation that I could ever imagine. You would never want to run a, a spring that stiff on a small RC. It just doesn't make sense. But what I ended up deciding to do was um, take those and cut them clean in half. And what that ends up doing is you don't have nearly the amount of uh, full extension 
uh, that you do on the shocks or anything like that. And you can run kind of in a droop mode, but it gives you about, let's say an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch of travel before the shock piston bottoms out. And you actually have to work really hard to get that to bottom out because I'm using the stiffer springs cut in half and I have a little bit of preload adjust them on them. So basically what it comes down to is that I'm almost technically running this droop mode, low CG, however you want to call it, but it's not true low CG. I'm just tricking it with the spring setup. So that means it won't slam into the shocks each time it hits something. There's a little bit of a bump coil to keep that kind of organic motion sort of you know happening as it's moving through stuff and then it, of course it allows for full art articulation full drop out of the axle when it needs to um, but then when it sets back down on there you don't have that hard bump stop which that tiny little bit of organic motion combined with the wheels and tires and how soft they are and then the proportions of everything I think I managed to get it pretty darn close to just right on this for what I sit and look at every single time I edit these videos what I expect to see what I what I want to see what I don't see and half the time if it's something that I don't see I'll sit on the bench for a week trying to figure out why it's not working but anyway I think I finally got this one just right and so the comments that have been coming about this thing you have no idea it really does kind of just have me sitting back and saying cool <laughs> I did my job and if it's making you guys think that it looks like a one pen and I look at it and I'm like, wow, this thing is, it's just, it's doing what everything that I wanted it to do. That seriously means that I've done everything that I have set out to do and just hopefully can continue to do it. So thanks again for those comments. They're huge. That stuff really drives my creativity and the positive feedback on that is just enormous. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the 300th video coming up. Just one more video left in this series of Hilux Week. I thank you so much for your comments, your continued support, all the new subscribers, the, the shares, everything. And I hope to see you all again sometime soon.